<laughs> and now we're going to move into what gets me the most excited in life about anything when you're talking about solving problems, you know, thinking critically mm -hmm. and creating solutions for voters, taxpayers, um, and businesses, proven results. So <laughs> I'm a results guy. I love results. Tell me more about what that means to voters. If, yeah. they, if they vote for you, what proven results uh, um, have they voted f are they voting for? But also, two, what are some, I don't know if you're allowed to reveal. Like what other results are you know, on the horizon that, um, that, you, that you, you can share? If, okay, if sure. Life, so so, um, so proven results, I, I'm very fortunate in that I was appointed to an open seat on the Willoughby Hills Council a little mm -hmm. over two years ago. So I am in the position of running for the first time, but I also have um, had two years to prove that I am a worthy candidate for, for mm -hmm. office. So that I think in a lot of ways, um, just in terms of, of running for office, the, for the first time, I'm very lucky in that I was able to do that. And so my attitude was that if, if you know, I, I wasn't sure if I would run, I assumed that I would, but my attitude was that if I am to run, I want to be able to run, I want to be able to be the person I say I am on things yes. like this. Yes, <laughs> it's not just a flyer. Right, it's like, exactly. It's, this, is, this, is, right. this is my heart and soul. Yeah, and a lot right of here, candidates, yeah. you know, I, I hear other people, well, I gotta get my message right, and I gotta get my image right, and I gotta get the right picture. And mm -hmm. those are important, but yeah. they, 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 they're only as good as, as what you, you have underneath those things, what you really mm. are. And so my, my attitude is that I want to be all those things. And if, if I'm not something that I want to say I am, then I will work harder to be that because that's right. just how I am and how I always, always have been. So again, I'm very fortunate in that I've had two years to prove to the voters that I am who I say I am. So one of the things that was really important to me two years ago is that I was well aware that there were serious political problems in our city. I didn't know at that time how far back they went, but I knew that at that time there were, were, were the, the mayor and the council weren't getting along and things mm -hmm. weren't getting done, and it was it was really problematic. There were some very concerning things. Um, right before I was appointed, um, there was a newspaper article that said the mayor the mayor appointed himself acting fire chief, and raising three kids in my city, um, I thought, my gosh, I don't think a mayor should be a fire chief. That doesn't seem like a good thing, and you know that it, it was just emblematic of the, the the political problems in my city. So. So the one they, the seat came open, I, I, I applied for it, and I was fortunately selected out of the eight, other eight candidates. It was the unanimous choice of all the nice. other council all people. Right. <clears throat> and so then I got to, to figure out what's going on. How can I fix this problem? How can I bring the people together? How mm -hmm. can I, I can make this more of a professional environment? Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, sometimes when you're trying to solve a problem, things get worse before they get better. <laughs> yes. It's not yes. just, I, I can't, I didn't just walk in to City Hall, and some people think that this is how it should be, and that if you didn't do this, then there's something wrong, but not, you can't just walk into something like that, it's yeah. all better, It's a great, <laughs> I'm I mean, here. Crisis <laughs> it averted. It doesn't work that way. It's solved, yeah. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. So it, so sometimes, you know, when you're standing up for principles and you're doing what's right, it, it, it's hard and people get very angry. And so it, it did. It, it, it was, it just, there was the, the, uh, the mayor just, the, the just took his, you know, put his foot down and no, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. And if you do this, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to try to remove you from office, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, but we, I believed and I, I led the other people on council to stand up and say, no, this is what's right. This is what's right. This is what's right. Do what you that, will. That council's purpose is to help ensure that the citizens are getting the best out of the mayor yeah and the mayor's purpose is to make sure that citizens are getting the best out of city county i mean like, there's, well, a, there's a not it, so much there's checks and balances there's a balance to yeah. it where it's just like the the mayor just can't go rogue city council just can't right. go rogue. like there there's there is a a structure to things um yeah well the you know, council makes the law and tells basically tells the mayor what to do i mean one time uh, uh someone said to me you know you can't, the council can't do that. You're trying to tell the mayor what to do. That's and I thought, exactly well, council <laughs> makes the laws. It's what council does. <laughs> that's, legally. That's legally. What we're it's supposed it's to the do. only legal thing happening right now. Right. So, the mayor okay, is supposed cool. to do what council tells him to ah, do. So okay. it, it's not the other way around. And I think people. I just learned something. Yeah. I think people, I just, yeah. people, people don't understand. Some people don't understand that. And that's yes. fair enough. And I understand. I, I get that too. But the mayor doesn't get, just get to dictate what happens so in the city. It's kind of so, like Erica is my city council. <laughs> Exactly. 
So she makes sure that I do the right thing. Right. I'm like, okay. Right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That's right. how, that's how right. I'm going to remember that. Yeah. Well, next to you and Erica are basically JJ and uh, Julia's um, uh, city, city council. Okay. Yeah. They're, okay. they're kind of, yeah. That's right, <laughs> you tell them what fair they enough. can and can't do, and then All they right. go and do it, right? Cool. Cool. So, <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> Thank um, you. <laughs> but, but, but the point is, is that it, so it got worse, but then finally, when the mayor said, okay, I'm not going to do this anymore. And we said, great. Let's do this now. And mm -hmm. look what we've been able to do. Again, since that whole insanity a year ago where the mayor mm -hmm. tried to move council, since then, mm -hmm. we have brought in two major employers to Willoughby Hills. Again, Hospice of Western Reserve and Produce mm -hmm. Packaging. Together, uh, they are about a $13 million plus payroll, 400-ish uh, plus jobs. Uh, yeah, to Willoughby Hills. I mean, that's the biggest... So, so hospice That's came awesome. from Mentor. We brought hospice in from Mentor, but to, it, but the p produce packaging is the biggest business coming into Lake County, what? Lake County proper in years. Boom. Years, and we were able to do Go that. Lake we County. brought them in from, from from Cleveland, and, and they're, awesome. they're 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 uh, almost up and running. I went and visited uh, a few weeks ago, and it's what they're doing is amazing. It, it's seriously, it, it's such a win for for our city. It's great, but mm -hmm. we couldn't do that if I wasn't on, on council. While the mayor was meeting with lawyers trying to figure out how he could remove me from office, right. I went to Produce Packaging, or the, or the old Sam's Club. I, w I went there before it was Produce Packaging. I met with the owner. I met with the state. I met with representatives from the county. And we were all talking about what Willoughby Hills would do such that the county and the state would also contribute some incentives to Correct. allow to support the business. Yes, and if mm -hmm. Willoughby Hills wasn't represented there, if I wasn't there, this wouldn't happen because mm -hmm. we needed them to know that Willoughby Hills was 100% behind produce packaging coming to our city and that we would do what it took to get them there. So without that, that would not have happened. Yep. So while all that insanity was going on, you know, I could have said, you know what, forget this. Oh my gosh, my feelings are hurt. Oh, but I didn't so because that's not my job. So <laughs> Amidst the drama, yes. Amidst the politics, yes. Um, you so first off, I think it's, like you said is is first off, huge kudos to you for being clear and saying, hey, the last year was not like previous years. You know, saying that so being able like, obviously people can change. You know, yeah. people, you know people can work together. Yes. It is possible. Yes. But just talking about like you, you, you brought in the biggest in years opportunity. To not only Lake County, but you know, to Willoughby Hills, um, amidst the drama. So it wasn't like, yeah. hey, things are. It wasn't. Uh, it's not like a fair weather fan thing. Like things are so perfect right, right now. Right, right. Come on in. Right. You know, like you're, you're winning amidst the chaos. Yeah, it's, it was probably you know, the lowest. I mean, and one, it was one of the lowest points in my my uh, tenure as a council person. I mean, it was horrible. Personally, it was really stressful and terrible. I mean, it was, mm -hmm. it was no fun. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. But but at the same time, I never stopped doing my job. Correct. So I did. I dealt with all that insanity and did my job. So yeah. and raised my family and yep. took care of my my household and did all those things. Mm -hmm. um, my house might have gotten a mess at that time, but that's okay. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so <laughs> you know, it's but all good. I might not have done the dishes as much as usual. It's but right. I still did everything I had yes. to do. So <laughs> yes, that's right. No, it's all right. So that's um, but yeah. So, cool. so so we were able to do that, and then again, to it, it, and the mayor. So with that budget that we cut too much. But by cutting that much, we were able to pave all these other roads that we definitely wouldn't have paved without it. So we mm. were able to make some serious changes with that so budget you, that cut it too much, you got such to, that this you got year was awesome, and we were able to pave way more roads than we would have otherwise, awesome. accomplish a lot more projects, um, hire that new firefighter, uh, all these things. So, so it's been it's it's from, from where from where I started. To where we are now, I think that demonstrates that I'm the, the real thing, that I really am real someone that has got to come in there and get the I job done. I am real. I'm not just a I mean, face I don't know how else flyer. to say yeah, it. Yeah, 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 that's <laughs> awesome. Look, you're the real deal. And that's where, again, it's just, uh, that, and that's, again, why I love talking to you. And obviously, like, just anytime, whether we're talking politics or not politics, I know that it's going to be a great conversation because it's, <laughs> you know, it's just, again, it's, you're not there to chat about, negativity you're not you're, you're not like oh my god it, like it, you're not you're not a negative person you're always focused on what could be like like um, I always say I'm a team workaholic you know what I mean like it's just like I and I feel like you get you have that too where you're you are a community holic yes please you know like it's it's true <laughs> you're, you're just like hey 
<laughs> I admit it. Hey, this is this has been great for me. What you know, it'd be way, it'd be even better mm -hmm. if we could have something great happen for the whole city. Yes. You know what I mean, like, and just kind of like, I, I what if we it. all won? It's like, you know imagine, what I mean? Like, imagine a yeah. Willoughby Hill. Yeah, imagine a Willoughby Hill, <laughs> not falling into the river. Right. And, but and no, I think that that's awesome. So, is there any to kind of, so the proven results? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That is awesome, awesome. And so, I guess is the goal is 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 to not necessarily change what's working, but to compound, and compound interest? Yeah, you know, yeah, like, uh, yeah, so yeah like absolutely. A snowball effect of yes. like, hey, we got these businesses, now magically it's way easier to attract other businesses, yes. and especially mm -hmm. to, um, by you getting reelected, you can just keep this snowball effect of positive results and proven change mm -hmm. going, mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, I'm excited. Me too. To see. And and you, you mentioned what, what what's coming up in the future. Well, one thing that I think is very important is that Willoughby Hills is, is has the highest tax rates in Lake County of any city in Lake County on residents who live in the city but work outside of the city. So okay. we're charging half a percent for residents who work outside of Willoughby Hills and pay two percent or more in tax to their work city. Okay. We're the only city that charges half a percent. Every other city in Will in, in Lake County charges zero. Oh. Zero, <laughs> other than Kirtland, which is a but only a quarter percent for Kirtland. But Willoughby Hills is charging right. double what Kirtland's charging. We're the second best, worst. Yeah, <laughs> but there's no excuse for that. There's absolutely yeah. no excuse. Okay. So that is something that is very that. important to me. And I that, know too, our taxes yeah. have gone up with. So well, like property that, taxes too are, yeah, are, go, are yeah, going up, but a yeah. lot of that is it's the school districts, it's uh, the county services. Mm -hmm. So the, the property taxes is very small uh, portion comes to the city. So it's really the income tax, but but Willoughby Hills is charging outrageously high income taxes mm -hmm. on residents who work outside of the city, and that is something that there's really no excuse because again, almost no other city in Lake County does this, or even the surrounding communities, they they don't do this. So it's not necessary. So we're we're, we're charging all this money to pay all the stuff we don't need. That we can actually improve service and cut these taxes. That's how. That's 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 that's. I think how great the opportunity is right now in Willoughby Hills so for good could, people to come in here and. You and, could cut the yeah. taxes and not take a step back. I, I believe so. Yes. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So less taxes, more results. Yes. It just it's just common sense budgeting, oh strategic gosh. planning, and that economic development. Just bringing in those businesses, and and I know we can make that happen. Awesome. Yep. So fired up, so <laughs> fired up. Um, very cool, so anything else to add before we, we wrap things up here? No, it's just, it's, I, I, I love what I do, even with um, the crazy times, I still love mm -hmm. what I'm doing because I believe so, so, so much in my community in Willoughby Hills, I believe it's a wonderful place and, and I want it to not be known as a crazy political town, I want it to be known yes. as a great place to do business, raise a family and retire, so that's why I do what I do. Love it. Love it. Well, thank you so much. Oh, well, thank Appreciate you so it. much. Appreciate yeah. it. And thank you all for joining us for professional, principled, and proven <laughs> results time with Laura Pugmo for City Council. Uh, please vote for her. Uh, again, long before she was running for City Council, she was doing all the right things and fighting for, for the people around her. So thank you for that. And, thank you. Um, we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>